All right, welcome back. So our minions have been busy and they have pretty much built everything. Our build account, zero. And uh, yeah, labor's are very low. We've been total, we've now got 71. And it, yeah, it got so bad that I actually had to take all the students out of school. I think it was on 153. So I pulled all the teachers out down to zero um, and then put them all back in again. So yeah, these um, 270 students, it was on zero. Excuse me. And they've, uh, they've gone straight back up to 270. Uh, but yeah, we've been getting stuff done. So we've got these houses done up here. Now I have to rejig them a little bit. I had three along the bottom and two at the top. So I've just done it, spaced it with three at the top. And uh, yeah, we've just sort of wound this hedge all the way down uh, and around all the houses. Now I couldn't get it up here, so I've just sort of ended it there. But I think it looks pretty good to be honest. And uh, yeah, we've lost our road up here, so this is sort of a private road for some nice big houses for the jewelers and the gemsmiths. Uh, so yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, obviously we'll have to uh, decorate the gardens a little bit, put some stuff in there, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that. And uh, yeah, our sort of barracks area, pretty much complete. Uh, well, it's 100% complete actually. We've got our um, sort of row of barracks houses in, our sort of storage, and yeah, these stone houses at the back look pretty good. Um, quite happy with those. And yeah, I think the soup kitchen and the uh, smokehouse is pretty good together. So that's that's come really come out really well. Uh, the only thing I'm a bit unsure about is uh, these covers here, how we've done these, and uh, especially in relation to you know, where this has gone. And I'm thinking um, I might rather just because we've got to extend this, could we? We could only take it to a certain a certain uh, length. Let's just check to make sure that we did take it as far as we could. Yeah, that's 31, so yeah, it could only go there. So, I mean, I'm thinking it might even be better just to remove these and just have one at the end here. And just, because there's no um, fence around the pasture, it's, yeah, we could just put a bit of uh, grassy road in to make it look like it's part of the, the pasture. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that because uh, I don't really like the look of it. It sort of meets here and just goes over, so, yeah. No, nope. it's going to go. So we'll get rid of those, and uh, as we can see, the the gates are in sort of the wrong place as well. So I think we should uh, mark those for for going. And uh, yeah, they probably need to go somewhere around here. And again, with this, I'm not sure whether that's in the right place. I'm going to wait and see before I destroy this. I'm going to wait and see uh, once these have gone. Put that there and. Uh, might look a bit better. Uh, so yeah, but other than that, it's pretty much pretty much complete, looking good. And um, yeah, so it's our big stone house. So yeah, we've got our stable here for uh, any sort of weary travellers coming into town. They'll leave their horse here. Um, yeah, we've got our little stone houses and hospital and the inn and garden, which is pretty good. So yeah, quite happy with the way that's worked out. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got done. All the, uh, oh yeah, just to, to mention, I, um, I extended this again. And uh, my only reasoning for uh, placing this particular piece here was the fact that, um, yeah, I just sort of ran a, a piece of road from in between here and down. It sort of just catches it. So but I thought, well, that's good enough because I still wanted a bit of distance from this corner. And as you can see, because we've put our of the way we've put oh actually how have I done this now yeah um yeah with the walkway I've sort of put this looking inwards and then that outwards so I may need to change that and then I put this looking uh, the walkway on the other side of this wall but it was just because this corner piece um uh, obviously the walkways here and if I had them spun around it wouldn't match up so I mean this is okay here it might be an idea just to uh, knock these down and spin these around so we've got sort of a walkway here and then we've got a bit of a walkway on the other side um, yeah yeah we, let's do that 
So let's mark those for uh, uh, destruction so they can spin them around. What else, what else, what else? Yeah, well, obviously I was running out of stone. Uh, we saw that one end of the last episode. So I threw another five guys in here. I topped this from 10 to 15 just to um, bang up the production a little bit. And I, I bought uh, a couple of thousand stone from a trader as well. But other than that, um, not much. So yeah, this section sort of done as well. I did add an, an extra couple of houses. They just sort of fit quite nicely going along this row. And um, yeah, I removed those. I wasn't too happy with those. And this road, this double road that I had running down here to this bridge. We may need to move this bridge. Because I'm thinking it's probably going to be better to um, split this, this road here, this stone road in half and run something out here. And then we're going to have sort of pastures on, on each side and such. So yeah. So that's sort of where we're at now, really. And um, yeah, we've only got sort of 71 pe uh, people, uh, laborers, and it was on zero. And just by marking a few buildings, we're up to 27. And uh, yeah, in terms of uh, the effects it had on taking all those people out of school, I'll just show you the graph. So this is the last five years. And you can see here, this is the point where it went from 100% and it sort of hit about 82, 83%. Um, it's about 85 but it's sort of been dropping <laughs> so uh, I was, would have expected it to sort of hit a, a plateau and start going back up again because I, I put teachers straight back in but it hasn't it's still been dropping so but again I'm not too concerned I mean we've got four and a half stars of happiness uh, health is right up there we've still got 20,000 herbs you know everything's looking healthy um, so with that in mind I think I'm just going to do it again because um, I can deal with the drop and you wait five or ten years and it, and it works its way back up again so yeah we've got 270 people uh, studying so if we remove all these teachers and uh, I might just have to run it on, on one yeah so this, our labor sort of count jumps up it should keep going yeah it's just because we've only got times one so times two it I mean, I could pull the plug, but no, let's get all the people. And let's just pause this again. Let's put the teachers back in. Now we've got, um, yeah, a serious amount, 341 people to play with now. And I'm thinking it's probably an idea, now that we've got a good amount of houses in this area, to uh, start filling in some of these buildings that are, uh, are yet to be staffed. So uh, let's go with a jade quarries because um, they've been languishing over here doing nothing for ages haven't they so I'm thinking five in each just for the time being yeah let's get these up and then stone cutters uh, is it stone cutters what are we using it should be well, let's turn them on. Would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. And then that should have gone up now to, yeah, 35. Okay. So we've got our, uh, our J quarries in. Um, quite happy about that, because they've been waiting for ages. Now, these guys, there's no real point in turning these guys on just yet, because we don't have, actually have any rough gemstones. Uh, so they can stay off. Uh, our clothier, our tailor. Um, yeah, let's just stick with high coat leather for the time being, and we'll put uh, we'll put a guy in there, just the one. Now the apothecary. Um, different things we can use. Uh, we've got loads of cloth, bone meal, and um, we've probably got a bit of honey as well. Say was using the glassware because we're using that for other things. Let's let's just have a look. We need honey, bone meal, and cloth. Bone meal. Um, yeah, we've got loads of bone meal. Cloth, loads of cloth, fifteen thousand plus cloth, honey. Now we were using honey, weren't we, for booze, so, and that's probably getting eaten as well. But you know what, let's, um, let's just throw someone in there, because we've got the stuff. 
and uh, it might take him ages to go and get it from the other side of the map but he's turned on and we've got stuff to use for him so and uh, when it comes to these uh, these guys down here um, again we haven't really got anything as yet I mean we could get one guy making uh, wood statues we've got loads of logs let's put this guy let's turn them all off and then we can sort of control it a bit better We'll give this guy, um, get this guy making wood statues. We'll get this guy over here making stone statues because they're two assets that we've got at the moment. And they can start making some of those. I don't think the wood statues are worth much, but the stone's worth a, a fair amount. And then we need jade, which we're going to be getting. So we could turn one of these on. Let's turn this end guy on. So the, uh, in fact, actually, no, let's turn this guy on. It's got a straight road straight down to the quarries. And you can make some jade statues. And then that just leaves um, ivory and marble. So we'll select them for ivory and marble anyway. Let's turn this one on. And uh, we'll keep these two turned off. So one, two, three. Yeah, we've got three guys. And then we'll probably request some marble and some ivory from this trader here. Um, so yeah, turn that on, that should go off, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, let's just run this on times one. Okay, so we've got those guys in. Let's go over to our sort of industrial style floating island. And let's get this guy on charcoal. Um, me too. How are we doing for charcoal? Can't find it. Charcoal. 10,000. So, mm, yeah, it's going to be one guy. Um, brickies, you can have two each. I don't think his official title is Brick Guy, but um, yeah. Kilner, Kil, Kilman, yeah. 15, okay. And yeah, just one glass and um, one glass wear, I'm thinking. And, I mean, we could have one using coal as well, couldn't we? But how are we doing for furnace fuel? I think I'd rather leave the coal for. Uh, I've got loads of furnace fuel. I think I'd rather leave the coal for um, tools and joists and things. So, yeah, charcoal. I'll give you two guys, and you can have two guys each as well. Okay, so we've got all our guys there in. These guys, I'm just going to give one each. I think. Yeah, keep them happy. And then we're going to need a bit of lumber coming in. So let's turn all these on. And yeah, it's just one option lumber. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 21. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we've uh, we've got all, all our guys in over here. Um, we should put some builders in so they can actually get those things knocked down that we requested. So yeah, um, yeah, looking pretty good. Now for this section down here, I was thinking because we're going to have loads of animals going in these pens. In fact, let's keep an eye out for animals going in because uh, we need to start filling those pens up times five. You're going to stop? Yes you are. Um, I'm going to buy a stone. Oof, so close. Right, well, I was hoping to buy this stone. Trade. Dismiss. Okay. 
yeah, just keeping an eye out for. Uh, well, that's going to be food actually, there, isn't it? So we don't need this guy. We'll just dismiss him. But yeah. Okay. Keeping an eye out for animals. Yeah. So because this road sort of, we could try and get this road to come down here into this little gap. I'm thinking uh, maybe just an array of butchers, like a butcher's row, going down. So um, yeah, let's throw some butchers in. Because we've only got a couple on the other side of the map, and uh, I'm thinking it might look quite good with just a, like a load in a row. So, uh, let's start throwing some down. And uh, yeah, I sort of want to leave a gap for this um, inner garden, so I don't want to sort of go over there. And, uh, yeah, let's throw that in. Um, I'm just going to do different ones. I'm going to leave a gap there as well for a bit of road to run this side of the inner garden. And what does that leave us? Yeah, see, so that leaves us a space to um, put some road in. In fact, let's put some road in now. Let's take it all the way down, all the way across, hook it around here. Give it a spin. Okay, so that's going to go all the way up there. You're going to make, meet the uh, inner garden. You can go down there. And uh, yeah, let's just keep putting some in. So there are seven in total. So we're going to have to duplicate one. Uh, one, two, three, four. So let's put a pig one in there. Deer butcher. The uh, horse. At the end, and I'm going to repeat the cows just because cows are probably going to be the well, yeah, cows are probably going to be the most um, prolific animal animal on the map. But we may take over it with horses because we've got about three different types of um, textures for the horses. So if we wanted to put some of those in, so for now we'll have two cows. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm thinking just um, set these traders, animals, animals, animals. No. Got to keep an eye out for these new traders to put some uh, ivory and marble on in order. No. Just back to the good old days of getting sidetracked by traders. Um, where were we? Oh yeah. Down here. And uh, it seems we've got loads of people. We could actually get them um, clearing some of this space. Couldn't we? Let's ask them to uh, take all that away. Probably taking forever, but while we're gabbing on and doing other things, they can be doing that, can't they? So, uh, yeah, um, let's run another bit more road. On the back, let's join these up, give them a nice wide square. And uh, yeah, I mean, just sticking with the theme, stone houses, it served us well up this end of the map, so. Now, do we want this corner piece or do we want the veranda style porch? Yeah, that's going in. I think I'm just going to possibly throw these in. No, not so randomly. I'm going to put the corner piece there. And, uh, yeah. Oh, which one was that? Was that this slope? I forgot which one I put in here, but just put it in again so I know which one I want. Um, is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. And uh, yeah, just um, continue a little bit of stone road. And while we're in this area, we may as well finish off that that wall. So yeah, we're just going to put it this way, I think just again for purely for aesthetics. So it meets that corner. Really, I should probably do that the same, but um, I'm going to wait to see when it's built. See what we think. Um, so yeah, that just leaves us with this gap. I mean, I'm thinking just, yeah, more houses. We're going to need them for the guys in here and the inner garden. Let's put a guy in the inner garden. It's probably not a huge amount um, you can put in here because we've sort of stopped all production on the other side of the map 
Uh, food was about 200 plus, it's going down again. So again, we're gonna have sort of constant, constantly stuff to do, keep your eye on, but you know, that's uh, definitely part of the fun. Now we'll use these stone roses and I think we're gonna use a similar design to what we did with the, um, with the log cabins up here and just do like a four, four by four. They're not gonna look as neat as these models because these are sort of pretty much identical, but, um, but yeah, we're gonna do it anyway. So uh, let's get those in. Yep, okay, so um, yeah, we're sort of filling these areas now, aren't we? Ooh, possibility for a well, maybe. Yeah, why not? Probably not going to be able to get it dead center, but, uh, hmm, which in itself is annoying. In fact, I'm going to take that little row out and uh, maybe put a bit of decoration in there. And then like, we've got an odd number of uh, roads, and it's always nice to take the middle one out and put some stuff in. So yeah, we're sort of pretty much done really with this sort of entrance way. Again, these trees, they're really doing my nut. They've, uh, they're sort of blocking the palisade walls. I'm sort of half tempted, maybe. And we're not so busy to just cut all the trees down, just cut them all down, and then uh, you know, allow them to grow back and hope that they don't keep spreading. It seems to have abated a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I just can't tell whether it's still on the move or not. So, uh, anyhow. Yeah, so we've got our barracks, uh, and uh, oh, we could put some stuff in here now, couldn't we? Yeah, look, you see, it's spread over the wall. Unbelievable. Right, okay, well, let's just put the... Uh, oh, is it going to be a five piece, this? Oh, okay, we'll do a four and a two. Spin that round. That goes in. So does that, and uh, yeah, it's knowing which is the right texture now to uh, to put down. I think. Let's go with the number one. It's definitely not number two because that's the bright green one. Um, let's try that. See what that looks like. Hopefully, it'll uh, sort of match up. Um, again, still just waiting for animals uh, to put in all these pastures now. Let's put someone in here. Uh, well, I don't really want to use honey because we've set the apothecary to use honey, haven't we? So we're always running low on barley. So, yeah. Have we got any wheat? Because we've been auto buying grain. And I'm just wondering whether they've been stocking up on wheat and we've not been using it and uh, we might have a load of it. Let's have a look. Uh, wheat, zero. No, okay. So berries it is. Let's. Um, yeah, let's give you one guy. And uh, soup kitchen, tomato soup, standard. Tomato and milk, we've got it just. And let's put a guy in there. Um, yeah, fish. Gotta be. Okay, so they're all filled in. Uh, we'll wait on these guys as well until we've got all the animals up and running. And. Um, yeah, what else, what else? I was looking over this side of the map. Let's go back over here. And yeah, I was looking for things to put in these, um, back over here again, these traders, these new traders. I've, uh, I did fill them actually. I just gave them three guys each, a thousand firewood, 50 joists because we're making them over here. Um, building supplies because we're making them here and hull components. Um, and furnishings will import from the other side of the island and I've matched that uh, with, on this trader. So it's given us some good buying power up here. Uh, it's just going to take them ages to keep filling them up. But uh, yeah, the reason I, I, said, I mentioned this is because of the, um, of the silk. 
And I thought, oh, we're going to have loads of silk to sell. And if we actually look at what we've got, um, yeah, we've only got a little bit. And I know we're using that in our traders, so um, I can understand why it's fairly low. But then if you look at how many silk cocoons we've got, we've got 10,000. And mulberry, uh, we've got 44,000. So we're just not cutting it in terms of having um, eight of these silkworm huts and two weavers. So it's just not enough. So um, I think maybe we should just put them uh, on the other side with these. It's looking a bit dodgy, isn't it? On its last legs. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, I know this is probably going to mess us up because it's going to end up pulling a load of our builders onto this side of the island uh, or the map, I should say. So, uh, but hey ho, you know, we'll put them in, and uh, hopefully they'll just get done over time. So we had eight of these in a row, didn't we? So let's just try and line this up. Okay, so we've put eight in there, and we've still got room, why is that? Oh, I see, because things went out, didn't they? Okay. Um, well, let's throw some weavers in. Let's see how much room we've got. We've got a trader there, just make sure he hasn't got animals. No. Okay. We've got a bit of road here jutting out in our way. Looks like we do. Let's get that removed. Weavers. This one. So yeah, we could get a few weavers in. We could maybe put some more silk guys in as well. Um, again, houses possible issue. Could just do a row around the back. Um, I want this road to get removed, so. Well, yeah, anyway, we're um, we're moving forward with that. It actually started already, that's pretty good. Yeah, so uh, we'll probably come to an end uh, for this episode. I think at the start of next episode we're going to fill this section in. I don't think I'm going to mirror it um, I think what we're going to do is probably just run a hedge around the outside and then just put maybe three or four houses in and maybe a road up the middle because I want access to this area from the, the road it, it didn't bother me that much that we don't from the back um, makes it a bit more exclusive up there but uh, from the front we could have a four of these imposing buildings there's definitely room for them so yeah we'll have a little play about uh, with that hopefully try and buy some ivory and marble and uh, yeah get going with the uh, get going with the animals oh oh do my eyes deceive me let's just um, let's just have a look here we've got nomads can you believe it can you absolutely believe it what are we on now year 127 and yeah we finally got nomads I can't believe it Okay, so yeah, one thing to note about these guys is um, because you, your castles uh, act as sort of like a, an overview of um, what you get with the town hall, uh, you'll get nomads coming to this mansion, you'll get nomads coming to your town hall in Ash Forks, the one we've got there in the, that we set up originally in the first episode or two, and we'll get uh, nomads coming. Um, up to this castle as well so when the nomads do start coming you can start coming thick and fast I just can't believe it's taken this long for them to arrive uh, we've pretty much had every single building put down so I can't uh, I can't see why why are they a bit of a dirty colour hmm used to be blue I think oh yeah I don't know what's going on there anywho let's have a look how many nomads are you? 234. So, okay. Um, yeah. Decisions, decisions. I'm going to buy this stone. Um, let's see. Uh, we're sort of running low on the silk, aren't we? That's why. Yeah, it's a good idea to put some more in. Um, 
falls into 64. How many is that? Uh, 15, 15, 50 or something. No, well out. Um, oh, I'm not. It's just because I haven't got that much. Right, okay. Yeah, that's annoying. Well, let's just take that. Let's get rid of this trader. Um, oh, have they disappeared? Oh, that's annoying. I was going to take them. Well, at least they arrived. So, uh, hopefully, now that... Uh, yeah. Now that um, they've been once, they'll, uh, they'll start coming again. Uh, no, we, can, we don't actually really, we didn't really need them. I was being a bit greedy then. I mean, there was, what, over 200 of them. So that would have put our, uh, uh, a lot of strain on um, on food and such like that. So I was just being a bit greedy. But um, yeah, we'll wait for the next lot. Hopefully we'll get some more. And hopefully we won't have to wait another 127 years before any more wander by. So, uh, so yeah. Um, oh, I may as well just turn these buildings on while we're here. While we're down this way. Let's get those uh, back on the go using these figs. Let's put a, a guy each on because we I noticed we needed um, we needed spirits to uh, for this building up here the preservist yeah so uh, uh, he kept having a, a marker over his head so so yeah fig guys back in let's get these wineries and stuff going again because our um, you know our, our Beer and spirits and that they, they could be good to, to use to sell. So um, yeah, let's just put one guy. Uh, in each of them, just to sort of get them going again. And uh, yeah, okay. So that's it for this episode. Uh, I'm glad we finally uh, had some nomads turn up. I'm just hoping that uh, yeah, more come. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next episode.